I'm always very careful when I play against uh, young talents at the Chess Base India Chess Club. My opponent is Arjun Prabhu, who is the current under nine state second place holder in Maharashtra. He's rated 1118, but is clearly stronger than that rating. He opens the game with one e4. I play my favorite Karo Khan defense on the board. d5. He takes on d5. Cd5. One of the things that I wanted to do in this game was just play my moves quickly. So this move queen c7 is aimed against bishop f4. The main move is knight e2 to prepare that move. Uh, imagine that you don't play queen c7 and you go knight f6. Then bishop f4 is the main move in this position. My opponent shows not a great understanding of the opening. He plays bishop e3, which allows me now to place my pieces quite comfortably. The bishop does not really belong on the e3 square. Arjun goes knight to f3. And now bishop g4 pinning the knight. This is something that I want to do. Knight d2. And I put my pawn on e6. So you see the bishop is now outside this pawn chain which I have created here. Arjun castles here. I go with my bishop to d6 creating a small threat of taking this pawn because the knight is pinned right now. h3 played and bishop h5. In a way, what I'm doing is I'm playing the Queen's Gambit declined with uh, white pieces, sort of reversed colors. And uh, I have one minute extra on the clock. Here, Queen going to C2 would have been better, but Arjun puts his Queen on B3. He's a bit nervous considering that he's playing uh, with so many people watching the game. But it, at this age, this is all a good learning experience. With castling, my plan was to maybe put my rook on c8. The other rook goes to b8, maybe b5, but he goes c4. Now, this is not a good idea here, but especially because I have this move. I mean, there are many moves, but knight a5 does make a lot of sense. I'm attacking the c4 pawn. He will be left with an isolated pawn on d4 and more importantly his king side is also going to be ruined now after queen c2 i have to decide on which way i want to proceed d takes c4 makes a lot of sense and now if white takes on c4 i should take on f3 first gf3 then take on c4 and if queen takes c4 because his king side has been weakened here I should keep the queens on the board with something like queen e7. And these are little subtleties which I should have been careful about in this position. But for now we are waiting for Arjun to play his move. What does Arjun do here? Well, Arjun decides to take with the knight. He's yeah, he takes knight takes c4, and I instantly take it, which is actually a mistake. I should have taken on f3, but I took on c4 here. He takes with the queen. Queen takes, bishop takes, and now I spoil his structure. But this endgame should be only slightly better for black. I mean, it's pretty good, pretty comfortable position. Rook c8 attacking the bishop. And a good move is now rook c1 or rook fc1. But he plays b3. This actually weakens the a3 square a bit. And my bishop can actually come there and defend the c1 square. So that he does not have control over the c5. So a very natural idea would be bishop a3 and I do it. And now my plan is to play a6 b5 and then maybe try to enter down the c5. So in such a position, uh, it is important to sort of play a little carefully, maybe rook a d1 with the idea of pushing d5. That could be a plan or maybe rook f d1. But Arjun uh, is very ambitious. He goes king h1. His plan is to play rook g1 and try to attack here. But actually there is no real attack. Rook f d8 is a very, very solid move. 
and this is one of the small mistakes that's made by very young players they are very ambitious in a way that they think that an attack will break through but in such a case that is not the case you don't have enough pieces to attack and so knight to d5 very natural and strong move blockading the d5 square arjun is trying to create some threats he goes bishop to g5 and if i play f6 here his plan is to take on d5 and then take on f6 so i have to be careful and i go rook d7 also the time is running low for him he has just 1 minute 20 seconds left what needs to be done here for white is a big question maybe one idea could be to take on d5 but then i would take it with a rook rook e1 played and i i was not really sure how to continue one plan was to go knight b6 to attack the bishop and to try and enter here i also didn't want him to go bishop b5 at some point and attack my rook so a6 was definitely one of the plans also i could just move my king away from the g file and play king f8 a6 was played on the board maybe arjun has to figure out a plan now he takes on d5 rook takes d5 attacking the d4 pawn and in comes bishop f6 this nice little tactical idea but it wouldn't work here because of g6 bishop e5 and now there is no real attack in the position uh, black has solidified his king side and that's why this maneuver of king h1 rook g1 is only hitting granite in this position so the rook enters on c2 yeah this is almost game over now a2 is falling also f2 is falling it's not much to play for also time is running low he goes rook e4 now it's a problem of plenty for me should i take the f2 pawn should i take the a2 pawn i decide to take the a2 pawn there it goes rook g2 and now the rook comes to b2 rook e3 bishop d6 exchanging the strong bishop takes takes rook to c3 and another pawn falls and another one and my opponent loses on time there quite an interesting game uh but arjun fought hard he's a very strong player and i'm very excited to look at his game in the future we analyze this game for some time and i'm sure that he will be doing something amazing in the national championships that will be coming up